What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Physics Anonymous channel. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the laser Christmas tree episode. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. It is one of my favorites. So today we're gonna to be working actually in the car. Uh, I'm gonna be replacing my head unit with, um, with an old Samsung tablet. Not this one, this one's all busted up, but I've got a new one. Uh, so yeah, I've right now I've got an Android system in there now um, that I got, actually it's sitting right, right here. Uh, I got this on eBay about a year ago. <clears throat> it was kind of the the fanciest you could buy at the time uh, for the for the price. It was actually pretty good. It ran like Android four point something, um, but honestly, uh, it's kind of terrible. Uh, the interface is is really slow. It got slower as I used it, so it just it reached a point where I was fed up with it. I was about to go back to the stock head unit, um, which was okay, but it didn't do navigation or anything like that. Um, so. I'm getting rid of this thing and replacing it with this. Let's see what we have to do to try and do that. Let's do it. So just as a point of reference, uh, this is not the first time we've put some sort of computer in a car. Uh, this actually was the very first project uh, Ryan worked on. Uh, literally, these were the controls. Uh, this, to give you kind of to date this a little bit, uh, this is not USB. This isn't even PS2. This is a keyboard socket, for those of you old enough to remember what that is. Uh, this computer actually ran DOS. Uh, Ryan custom wrote a program to play MP3s, uh, or maybe they were even WAV files, I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> so he had this hooked up to his dash somewhere and each of these buttons did something. Uh, a little later on, we got a little more sophisticated and I built uh, some Windows machines that went to a, uh, a touchscreen interface uh, where your head unit was. Those worked pretty well, but back, back then, uh, you know, operating systems weren't that reliable. There was no sort of uh, front-end software for uh, car audio PCs of any kind. So um, it was a lot more complicated back then. These days, uh, this pretty much does everything. So that makes it a whole lot easier. So here are the things we're gonna need. Uh, I'm using this Samsung tablet. I really like this one because it has an OLED screen. Uh, we're gonna need a USB charger, something pretty high amperage. A uh, few converters for audio and power. Uh, this is the amp I'm using. It's an Alpine 4 channel, should do the trick. Uh, here's a bunch of the wiring that came with that Alpine. Uh, we're also gonna need to convert it to the FRS wiring harness, which is what these are for. So uh, the first thing we're gonna need to do is build some sort of housing for this. So let's get started on that. So this is the trim piece that we're starting out with in the car. Uh, I've ordered a second set of these because they're pretty cheap and I didn't want to mess up my originals. Uh, Toyota uses a uh, semi-standard two-din setup, but theirs is a little extra wide, which is why you see these little uh, converters in there. Um, so we need to find a way to convert that into fitting this size tablet. This is a broken tablet I'll be using for sizing and fitment and all that stuff, but I've got a nice new black one waiting. Um, but you can see it's going to be a bit difficult because... It is bigger than that opening. It's bigger than the piece of plastic in general. So we'll have to find a way of making that look good. So, let's get to work. I should probably explain what I'm machining here. Uh, Samsung tablets have these little buttons in the back that they use to mount accessories like keyboards. Uh, so I'm gonna make my own little buttons uh, and mount the tablet with those. Uh, that way it's removable if I ever wanna use it as a tablet again.
The gray stuff you see me using here is epoxy putty. It is actually the first time I've ever used this stuff and it is awesome, highly recommend it. I will link in the description where I got this stuff. Probably looks like I went into this thing with a pretty solid plan of what I was going to do, but to be honest, I was kind of winging it for about halfway through. Uh, I just started cutting pieces until stuff fit, and then I figured out what would make it look good. So uh, it, it turned out really good in the end, but it definitely uh, is not as planned as it might look on the video.